This is my Iron Man series on Deflect RSPS. Starting from scratch, I'll be working towards the best in slot gear and upgrades while also being completely self-sufficient, which I mean is of course how the whole Iron Man thing works. But either way, sit back and join me on my adventure to becoming the best in slot Iron Man. If you want to play Deflect for yourself, a link to their Discord is in the description. Once you join the Discord, head over to the official links section and download the client from there. I'm also giving away a $25 book to one lucky winner, and if you want a chance at winning this book for yourself, then all you have to do is comment your in-game name, and I'll pick the winner in a few days. A quick shout out to Prince for winning the last episode's giveaway. Definitely don't forget to enter today's giveaway. Okay, so today I think I'm going to go ahead and get my first drop at the Darkfire. I'm just going to go ahead and speak it into existence now. In the next few minutes, you're going to be seeing me get a Darkfire handle drop and it's going to be great. I'm going to go ahead and make my Darkfire hammer. Well, actually, I don't even have my maces yet, so I can't do that. But anyways, I'm going to be getting a Darkfire drop. I've done 101 kills and sadly, I haven't gotten anything yet as a drop from Darkfire. So like I said, hopefully that changes today, but a little bit of a problem for today's upload because it is Friday is that bingo just went active so I might not be able to find too many people to do runs with at Darkfire because most of the players are going to be doing bingo and trying to get their rewards from that so I don't think they're going to really want to do Darkfire right now. Look at the movement going on right now. If you can't hit this type of strafe in game then that's probably just a skill issue. But even if I can't find a team solos it should be fine. My boots are only giving me three damage per tick now instead of five damage per tick so that's going to make things a lot more bearable. Rainbow it has some amazing games where you can win big and there's also plenty of different ways to deposit and withdraw including runescape gold there's a wide selection to choose from whether you enjoy slots roulette or my personal favorite which is game shows plus they even have an entire section dedicated to sports and esports which is also really fun so there truly is something for everyone at rainbat.com i really like how clean and simple the site is which makes everything very easy to use and understand the first 30 people to enter the promo code gemq will be given a free five dollar starter balance. Once again, there's an endless amount of entertainment at Rainbet, so if you want to check it out, then make sure to click on the link in the description. Okay, yeah, so a three minute kill here while AFKing is pretty solid. I think this is exactly what I can expect for most kills, as long as the Larens don't take me too long to get a drop from. Three minutes is probably the amount of time it's going to take for all my kills in the future while solo. But yeah, speaking of the Larens, that's the one thing that I'm worried about in solos because my luck isn't very good during these waves, and if I have to go to like a fourth or fifth wave for the Larens, then I'm going to be looking at a five or six minute kill. So that is definitely the one negative thing about being a little under geared and also doing solo kills at the dark fire but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get my dark fire handle drop real quick just give me a moment to finish this kill and in the next clip you see i'll have a dark fire handle and everything will be great oh i got a jar that's actually what i meant i really wanted to get a jar because those are super good and i didn't really even want to handle anyways that was kind of just a joke i mean i am technically dry at this point and i mentioned this in the last episode but i'm gonna go ahead and say it again because i think that i'm allowed to start bagging dark fire for a drop you know if i'm not mistaken the drop rate is one in a hundred so now that I'm past the drop rate, I can go ahead and complain and everyone will be okay with it, right? Oh, you know something that's actually pretty funny that I was thinking about earlier is that once I get these Darkfire weapons, my Iron Man account will now be far better than my main account and I don't really know how to feel about that. I know I still have Barrow's gloves, but with everything else on this Iron Man account, including my drop rate, my pet, my damage boosters and all that, this is going to be a far superior account. And I do also plan on returning to my main account for a new series soon and I'll be able to fix those issues on my main account i'll get some better pets and drop rate and stuff like that but it is kind of interesting that i'm already at this point and in my road to dark fire episode it took me almost 40 episodes to get there and i'm only at like 16 17 i don't even know what episode this is honestly i mean it's not like this account is brand new though because i still do have 12 days of playtime on it so i've definitely grinded a fair amount on this account it's just that the episode count makes it seem like it shouldn't be that strong yet but it is compared to my road to darkfire series anyways just came across five waves of larens so i'm gonna end this kill with like a five minute kill time so that's not exactly great in my opinion ah damn just under the five minute marker for the last kill i was definitely wanting to get five minutes you know that sounds very fun you know spending five minutes killing the dark fire is definitely something that i wanted i never noticed this but i do have like a mill in burn points just with my sigils that's actually kind of crazy to think about especially since this is an iron man account i mean i know that on this server it's not really too hard to get those but sometimes i do think about you know what if this was an old school runescape account this bank would look insane sadly though i'd have to spend about five mil in blood money just to be able to buy all the elixirs and shields in order to make the sigils into spirit 
spirit shields because I can't burn them as sigils. I mean, I do have plenty of burns outside of the sigils and I don't really ever have to worry about burns at this point, but I didn't realize that I had a whole extra one mil and just straight up sigils. So that actually does kind of change some of my plans that I had in the future in a pretty good way. I won't get into all that yet because I still need to go ahead and grind through the dark fire, but I will explain more about what I'm saying in the future once I do get past this point. Okay, well, I got a few more kills left in the tank. If I get a drop, then I'll do a little dance or something and put it in the video. Okay, well, unfortunately, no drop in this episode. That's really disappointing, but that's how it's going to be, and that's how I'm going to end things. If you did enjoy, then make sure to let me know by leaving a like, and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on. That way, you never miss out on any of my content.